are in the Nilgiris, South India, where forests and tea plantations share space on hillsides. The tea estates themselves are a source of tourism. The plantations dotted with women plucking tea to be processed later. There are over 250 tea factories in southern India alone. Not surprising since India is one of the world's largest tea producers. Tea processing is highly energy intensive. Energy costs can account for as much as 30% of the total processing costs. Energy audits at these units suggest that there is much scope to save on both thermal and electrical energy through energy efficiency measures. Since 2008, the United Nations Development Programme in India and the Tea Board of the Ministry of Commerce Government of India, with support from the Global Environment Facility, have partnered on a project to help small tea processing factories in the Nilgiri Hills save between 15 to 30 percent of their energy cost. Significant private sector investment has helped the project reach out to more than seven times the number of enterprises targeted. Technology Informatics Design Endeavor or TIDE is a partner in this project. A cup of tea produces approximately 17 grams of carbon dioxide. Project interventions have reduced this to around 12 grams of carbon dioxide per cup. We are always under pressure to give you know better leaf price to the farmers. Forty percent, as I said, is the cost you know that we incur on uh, thermal front and on the electricity front. Even if we know say you know twenty percent, uh, it is uh, well amounted to about uh, two rupees. Uh, if our cost of production, excluding the cost of uh, green leaf, is uh, around twenty rupees. So uh, this is substantial saving that we can pass on to the farmers. A few simple changes have gone a long way in reducing electrical energy requirements. The aluminium blades of fans have been replaced with nylon blades. Nylon blades are lighter and more energy efficient, consuming only 5 HP as compared to 7.5 HP. The V belts have been replaced with energy efficient flat belts. These require very little maintenance and offer a smoother power transmission. It's uh, something like an eye opener for us. So don't look at the power consumption in terms of rupee. You look at the power consumption in terms of units per kg of thing. The earlier it was like 0 0.57, 0 0.63 per kg of METI. And uh, through the energy conservation measure, it was brought down to 0 0.45. In the lighting sector, we want to achieve perfection in installing all LED uh, lights. Instead of being always uh, relying on the grid, we want to change the power into solar driven power. In the long run, we want to change uh, the heater into uh, the hot water generator. These are the two options on the lighting side and on the industry side we want to do that. As more tea factories join this move towards a more sustainable business model, it's building a synergy between the private sector, the environment and higher profits that can benefit people at every level in this sector. Thank you.